We're heading into the busiest travel season of the year. But as we all know, sometimes flying can come with unexpected headaches and a large number of travelers don't realize there are air passenger rights to protect you while in transit. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shans joins us from Detroit Metro Airport with what's being done to give you more power on the plane. Jen. We've all been there from lost luggage to a canceled or a delayed flight. And what about a mixed up seat assignment? They're all travelers headaches that sometimes feel worse around the holidays. For years, there's been a push to increase flyers rights. Some things you just can't avoid when flying. Going through security is already challenging enough with the kid and then having to wait on people. It's a pet peeve. <laughs> but what about mishaps by an airline? Losing your luggage. Terrible hiccup, right? For years, consumer advocates have pushed for more rights for air travelers, including efforts to create a formal passenger bill of rights, something Charlie Leoka with advocacy group Travelers United says always ends up on the back burner in Congress. It has been a bill which has been being pushed for at least 10 years. And let's face it, uh, the airlines have far bigger pockets than consumer groups do. Air travelers aren't totally without protections. According to the Department of Transportation, the FAA Reauthorization Act of 2018 requires airlines publish a one-page summary of passenger rights on their website. It has to include guidelines for compensation related to delays, diversions, cancellations, and damaged or lost baggage. It also has to show the carrier's policies on bumping a passenger due to overbooking or denying boarding for any other reason. But Leoka points out the protections in place only kick in if something goes wrong. And the airlines really have almost all the control these days. Accommodating seat requests is not considered a passenger right, nor is requiring airlines to have staff that understand sign language. The latter contributed to a travel nightmare for a deaf couple last January, trying to fly to L.A. from Detroit. They booked their tickets separately on a Delta flight. We asked the front desk first. Can we sit together? Because we're deaf, we want to sit together. It really didn't matter where. We didn't care. We just wanted to sit together. They say when they asked the gate agent, she grew frustrated with the communication barrier. And instead of continuing to use a pen and paper to answer their questions... And she grabbed the paper, grabbed it, and balled it up, and threw it in the trash. When one of the women walked behind the counter to retrieve it, they say the agent pushed her back. The aftermath was captured on cell phone video. The couple wasn't allowed to board the plane. In a statement, Delta says, quote, We worked with the customers to ensure a misunderstanding like this doesn't happen again and appreciate their willingness to share open and honest feedback with us. While air travel is not perfect, Leoka says it's moving in the right direction. You now have 24 hours in order to cancel your flight and rebook the flight with no uh, penalty. And recently, the DOT raised the amount of money travelers can get if they're bumped off of a plane up to $1,350. If your luggage is lost, you're entitled to up to $3,500. Leoka also suggests traveling with digital copies of everything, having your boarding pass, flight itinerary, and even phone numbers of the airline's customer service easily available on your smartphone. For more ways to make your holiday travel this season a little less stressful, you can head to our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting from Detroit Metro Airport, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. Wow, certainly a lot of information we need to know. Thank you, Jen. Well